Well, hi everyone, Sean Humphreys here. Welcome to All Things Retirement. Well, in this video, I continue with the theme of covering Dr. Riley Moyne's great book, The 10 Lessons, How You Can Squeeze All the Juice Out of Retirement. So we're gonna talk about lesson number three, and lesson number three is live with purpose and follow your heart. And it's always with caps and collars when we say follow your heart. Um, I think that's a great sentiment. Uh, but it needs to be done in the context of other areas of your life as well, obviously. But I think it's a really important lesson, and I'm going to cover it in this video. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future content. And if you're looking to get clarification on retirement income planning, you can find out how you can get a complimentary retirement forecast by going to our website. There's a link to our website for that service as well as some complimentary educational programs. Okay, let's look at the third lesson. So at the beginning of this particular chapter in the book, The Ten Lessons, uh, Dr. Moynes has a quote from Aristotle, the unexamined life is not worth living. And this theme comes up a few times in this book, or at least variations of this theme. So again, if you go back to the past videos, uh, I made the comment that uh, Dr. Moynes uh, researched and had conversations with many, many people who had successfully navigated retirement, we're enjoying the retirement years, and like his book says, squeezing all the juice out of the retirement experience. And so one of the characteristics that was common among people who are really maximizing on their retirement journey is the ability to reflect on their lives. Now, the ability to reflect on your life is not as easy as the sentence sounds. There are so many competing voices for our attention every single day. So whether you look at our technology or you know, relationships in our life or other preoccupations, it's not actually easy to step out of all that and reflect on what's going on in your life, some of the internal motivations and drivers and reflections. And the only way you can really get clear on your purpose and to follow your heart is to spend consistent and regular time getting out from under all that busyness, uh, the ruts of your life, the things that you do on a regular basis without thinking about them, and to spend some intentional time just unpacking what's going on, on the, in the internal. Now, there's lots of things you can do to encourage that kind of examination. It could be going for walks on a regular basis, um, going into nature, spending some time in quiet reflection. Some of you have some devotional reading and reflection material like to use that transitions you into um, journaling and writing down your thoughts and really listening to your inner voice, which essentially is a collection of external voices, things you're you know, reading, influences in your life, and then spending time, quiet time, unpacking all that information and, and to see what kinds of direction you can uh, get from those reflections. Now, by doing that, you'll come to understand maybe some important internal drivers or motivations or goals that have been left unfulfilled. And so part of the retirement journey is to explore those things. Are there things that you put on the back burner for many years because you had financial responsibilities, family responsibilities, other commitments, and there is only so much time available to you. And as you begin to transition into retirement, as your children get older, as the you know, the drivers of time commitments become less and less, you have the opportunity to intentionally focus on purpose and following the, the important drivers internally that you begin to sort of lean into or dig up from those reflections. So that's one of the important lessons is that people who squeeze that retirement juice effectively are spending time listening to their heart, listening to their internal drivers, using practices that encourage that listening and then taking action on what those thoughts that begin percolating to the surface are telling them. Well, that concludes lesson number three from Dr. Moy's great book, The Ten Lessons and uh, Ideas for Squeezing the Juice Out of Your Retirement Year. So I hope you enjoyed that. So again, if you don't want to miss future content on this particular topic or other topics, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you want to find out how you can get a complimentary retirement income plan or other free retirement planning resources, just visit our website. There'll be links in the show notes to get you there. Anyway, wishing you all the best in your retirement and overall wealth planning journey. You take care. Bye-bye.